Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining us again today for another bit of shop talk. Today we're going to go over an auto service that most of you have come to know as the fuel system cleaning service. Um, other names are, include induction service, top engine clean, injector service. You, uh, you might not know this, but there's actually a difference between the two and I'm going to show you those two differences here. So some shops sell one induction service, some will sell the injector service, some will sell them together as a service really depends on the shop and there's no right or wrong way necessarily for that. Um, sometimes a car will only kind of need one or the other. So it really, it really depends. Uh, today we're gonna to use my 18 4Runner, which I've been daily driving for about two years. Just shy of 25,000 miles on it. Um, and pretty much I only do daily traffic with it. And I'll stop and go traffic five, six miles to work uh, and then cut it off. So I'm, gonna, I'm hoping that this is gonna be, have a little bit of carbon buildup on it despite my use of high quality fuel and oil. So hopefully we'll be able to get some shots of some carbon buildup and then show you the differences between the services before and after. Um, so this first service, this is the BG induction service kit. Um, this is not something you're gonna do at home. This is something that you're gonna have a professional service technician or, or, or service center do for you. Um, this is an alcohol compound which gets actually sucked through the, the intake here and uh, passes over the runners and then the back of the valves, top of the pistons, combustion chambers, things of that nature. Um, this is just one of the ways of attacking carbon buildup, which is a problem. Um, and, and even the perfect running engine in ideal circumstances. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, probably in the description below. The other one here is, this is a Toyota can. Again, another thing you're not gonna do yourself. This is the actual injector cleaner. So this taps into the fuel system. The car will actually run on that can solely and it will spray directly through the injectors and to the back of the valves and the combustion chambers. So kind of the same, then again, kind of not. So I'll describe it better in the description below, but I'm gonna show you what both of these services look like in action. And I'm hoping I can get the camera into the intake here and show you some differences. All right, so this is the throttle body of my truck. Sorry for the humming noise, that's the throttle motor doing its thing. I know it's kind of difficult to see in the video, um, but there is a very light carbon buildup in here. Not so much that line, but the discoloration behind it. I'm sorry, again, the camera doesn't do it any justice. And you can see, not carbon here, but just a little crud buildup. I don't think the camera's gonna get it not really, but this throttle bar is actually very clean. Um, I, I do service this vehicle properly, air filters, as per the repair manual, high quality shell fuels, only shell fuels, high quality synthetic oil. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that it's clean, but I expected a little bit more carbon buildup. So we'll use this spray nozzle. We'll actually get closed in that intake boot. and actually spray here while the car is running and that's the induction portion of it. So let me see if I can get the camera down there to see anything in the valves, but pretty funky shaped intake. I don't see a, how I'll see much, but we're gonna try anyway. All right, so this is the induction portion starting. Um, this is full of that alcohol mix. The other can has been added to the gas tank. And as you can see, this spraying into the intake while the engine is running, sucking it through the intake runners over the back of the valves into the combustion chamber and cleaning out any carbon. This service uh, needs to be done properly. It can cause engine damage if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to reiterate the fact that you need to have a service professional do this. Not necessarily try this yourself unless you want to blow stuff up, which can be fun too, but expensive. So we're gonna let this run. I am going to add a few shots of another vehicle that had the intake manifold off to show you what carbon can actually look like in the real world and why we need to get rid of it.
So this is a different vehicle, but I wanted to take this second to see if I can show you what carbon buildup on an intake valve looks like. So see the top portion there, that shiny? That bottom portion should also be shiny. Uh, this is a 90,000 mile GM 5.3 V8. And that is pretty nasty. So the fuel system service we're doing, um, we're hoping to remedy that with the induction service portion. And you don't want that, that's robbing your gas mileage, that's robbing your, your power, and that's long-term could affect the uh, reliability of your engine. So let's get rid of that. All right, so the induction service is done. And what you're looking at now is the throttle body after the service. And you can tell it is, well, it looks brand new. Um, that BG stuff really does its job. It does clean the carbon quite well. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that camera shot in the intake. Um, but first-hand experience, I can tell you that the induction services, if done properly with a good quality product, do make huge differences in carbon cleanup. As you can see, I didn't do anything to this throttle body after the video, and it looks brand new. So now we're gonna switch to the injector service and uh, we'll explain that too. All right guys, now we are on the injector cleaning portion. As you can see, this is the Toyota service can hooked up to the apparatus. This is the actual fuel line into the fuel injectors. Um, what we have here, this blue line is blocked off as the fuel return. And I have the fuel feed, feeding the fuel return just to cycle cycle the fuel so it don't burn out the fuel pump. So now the car will actually run on this. All right, so we have done the induction service. We have done the injector service. I'm just gonna take a quick minute to recap everything. The induction service, which was the fuel tank additive and the larger bottle of um, an alcohol mix, which is the proprietary blend from BG was sucked through the intake as the induction service um, that is good at cleaning the throttle body, cleaning the inside of the intake runners, and of course the back of the intake valves on a sequential fuel injected vehicle in the combustion chamber. And then the <clears throat> actual injector service, which ran through the fuel lines, which I showed you here earlier. Uh, nope, that wasn't it. This one. Um, that interrupts the, the fuel service on the truck and that is directly pumped through the fuel injectors and then into the combustion chamber over the back of the valves if it's sequentially fuel injected such as this boilated engine um, so why do I do them both together well I'm a firm believer in getting rid of carbon um, it is very bad for the engine and overall you know you're going to get a fuel economy issue you can get startability issues rough running conditions um if you're if, if it's bad enough like that 5.3 liter engine i showed you a clip of you're going to have severe loss of gas mileage chunks of that carbon can actually in severe conditions again break down stick to the cylinder walls cause cylinder scratching which will lead to oil consumption which will lead to premature catalytic converter failure, all kinds of stuff you just don't want to do. So the best thing you can do, high quality engine oil, regular maintenance, air filters, oil changes, things of that nature. And don't put crappy fuel in it. Don't save five cents. Put a good quality product in it. And what I do before an oil change, the, the gas tank before the oil change, I put premium in it. Um, I use the Shell V-Power because it has the most cleaning detergents. Um, you just don't want that engine to start pinging or detonating under load. Uh, that just nothing is good about a ping or detonation uh, in an engine, which basically, even on a small scale, is the piston trying to turn sideways and is firing either earlier. It's, it's firing too early in the, in the uh, stroke, so that's not good. Get rid of that. Do your fuel system services when your service department recommends them, especially if you're going to keep the car long term. I noticed that even the small amount of carbon that I had, uh, the idle seems to be very smooth. The the pickup seems to be smoother, uh, more like when I got the truck and I just, you know, I never really noticed it decreasing and it wasn't bad, but 
you do notice it come back. So great stuff to do. It's uh, something you should keep in mind. Like I'm gonna do mine every 30,000 miles just because I know my driving habits and I know what's happening inside there. Some service centers will say 60, some will say 30, you know, and in, in, in cities you might even hear 15,000. It's not uncommon. Just kind of identify what kind of driving you do before you spend the money. Some of them, you know, the induction services are 150 to 200 dollars, depending on where you go. And the injector service um, probably isn't much different. You know, I can't tell you what a dealer will charge you because I don't work at a dealer. So just keep in mind that it is a very good idea. The only thing I do recommend is. If you have it done somewhere, um, have it done before your oil change. So do your fuel system cleaning services and then have them change the oil at the same visit. Um, in a new engine, it's not going to be an issue, but in a worn engine, small amounts of that injector cleaner or induction service cleaner can bypass the piston rings and contaminate the oil, but that's generally not going to happen on, unless it's a really worn out, clapped out engine. If it's new, like this 4Runner, it doesn't concern me but just keep that in mind if it's really bad or they have to do a couple induction services because you've had drivability issues then change the oil anyway and try to be better at maintaining your vehicle uh, the only other thing I want to say is if you have a direct injected vehicle um, look at the emissions label here let's see sequential fuel injection SFI if it says DFI here or you open your engine and it says GDI, like in some of the Hyundais, you want to definitely, definitely, definitely do the induction services because those cars don't have the fuel system that sprays over the back of the intake valve. The fuel is sprayed after the intake valve, so those get very dirty. Um, some of the Hyundais, some of the Volvos, and everyone is kind of trickling towards direct fuel injection, so don't skimp out on your oil, your gas, or your carbon cleaning services if you have GDI. Again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate all the support and the subscribers that have that have joined us. If you're new, I'd love you to like this video and subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll keep bringing in good stuff. Thanks for watching.